morning. It's Gina. Okay, so today is DLCD 26, I believe, for me. And I'm kind of stuck. Um, I've had some back and forth days. Um, I had a plus, plus 1.6, then a minus 2, then a plus 0.2. Today I had a plus 0.4. So, I'm really, really getting sick of seeing the same number because it's, it's felt like forever, even though I know it's only been a few days. It, um, it's just felt like, you know, nothing's really changing. And I don't really want to do a correction day or anything like that right now. Um, we're heading into the weekend. Today is Friday. I have a friend coming over to watch me tomorrow and... You know, I'm not going to do that with her around. Um, she also does the HCG, but, you know, I wanted to cook some things for her that I've tried that were good. So I'm just going to see how it goes. I think that today may have been, because yesterday um, I ate some of that chili I'd made. And... You know, I I done that before and thought it could be the salt attributing to the 1.6 after I'd eaten it. And I, since I'm doing my kitchen, it's being redone. The cabinetry, I mean, everything is in shambles. Every door and drawer is open and has been all week, so that they can dry. And I just, it's a pain to go in there and cook right now. So I've been kind of relying on the stuff that I'd already cooked for the week. Um, I've made a couple things, but. It really is kind of a hassle and I'm trying to not touch anything and you know touch any of the cabinets bumping into them or anything like that so you know that's one of the reasons too I think it's been a little off this week because I haven't been able to do the normal cooking that I do and instead been relying on some of the same things over and over I don't know but we'll see if it goes better tomorrow I'm gonna not eat the chili tonight I'm gonna eat something else and see if that helps. Um, I can throw something together and throw it in the oven pretty easily. I think they're going to finish today, so I might still have them all open and wait for them to dry, but I think they're supposed to do the last step, although now I'm getting my foyer painted, so I don't know. Um, but, you know, everything's in disarray. Everything's pulled off of the, ca the counters and thrown on the kitchen table, and so it's just kind of difficult to cook in there right now. Boy, that sun. Now I'm in the dark. So, anyway, um, but, okay, you know, whatever, it is what it is, so, I'm not too upset by it. I'm just preoccupied by other stuff, so, anyway, that's about all I've got, really. Um, I will see how it goes tomorrow, see if things are better, so... Y'all have a great day. Thanks for your feedback. Thanks for your comments and your support. I'm going through a tough time right now. Um, I just keep telling myself two weeks from today, I will have a huge weight lifted off of me, and that will be good. So that's what I just keep thinking about is it, it's I have a deadline now. I have a finish date. In all likelihood, it will be done. It would be really... Um, it would it would just not it would surprise me if it wasn't over there is a possibility it's not going to be over if I don't agree to whatever terms they set forth um, then it, it wouldn't be over but that would have to be a pretty severe consequence for me to not agree it would have to be something that takes away my ability to practice so I, I don't foresee that I might attorney doesn't foresee that the people that have been involved with this helping me through this they, they don't the professionals they don't foresee that happening because it is one person's word against another but you know you just never know so um my fingers are crossed that i'll have an answer and it'll be done and i'll just have to do whatever it is that they request and it will be as behind me as it can ever be and it'll, it'll always be a permanent blemish it'll always be there it will be something that tarnishes my 
um, standing, like with the court system, for instance. Um, you don't want to be an expert witness put on the stand and someone asks if there was ever an enforcement action and you have to answer yes because you lose all credibility and that was one of my favorite things to do was testify. So that's out the window forever for me because um, I couldn't risk that client having a non-credible witness and me and paying me for that. Not, not going to happen. So, but whatever, that was... That was 0.5% of what I do. Um, I've only testified a handful of times, so it's not that huge. It just sucks. So, anyway, that's all I got. I'm not going to take up all the time whining about that, but it's tough. So, I'll check in with everybody tomorrow, give you an update, let you know what's going on, and hopefully we'll see some numbers dropping because that would certainly lift my spirits. That would make things just a little bit better like to go to Austin in the 180s. That wouldn't be bad. All right. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for listening. Bye.